Hey guys, Ryu here with another bit for Blend and this one we're gonna be designing something in Mass Effect style. I've been playing a lot of Mass Effect recently, you can hop on my other channel. I have a game, a uh, hard surface gaming channel, uh, so I would appreciate if you guys hop in and subscribe. It's gonna help a ton. But anyway, you know, what I do there is just uh, playing games, I have games at the moment playing uh, Mass Effect and we're talking about, you know, a bit of, about design. And sometimes we just find cool things. The Mass Effect is fantastic for... Um, learning blockouts, you know, like, you know, if you see this thing, for example, it's really simple, there's just two shapes, uh, kind of like a box con connected with a cylinder with a bevel, a bit of a bullion here, and fucking decals, you know, and that's it, basically, it's just literally smoke and mirrors, I mean, this whole thing is a one giant decal, okay, but, you know, we can have some fun and design something kind of similar, um, you know, um, borrowing from a style, but not actually modeling exactly the, the item. Now, the way usually I work is that uh, what I do is I scroll through screenshots that I took in a game or some kind of an environment. I look for elements that basically are very characteristic for, for the certain design. And I'm trying to look for certain details or maybe forms and shapes that's going to inspire me. Like I, for example, love this uh, design of, you know, of these buildings. I, mean, I think they're just fucking genius, you know. It's so simple, but so cool. It's just badass, you know. Um, and, you know, there are just simple things like this table is also awesome. There's a great texture on a great texture on the floor. There's really a lot of cool designs in here. The way I work usually is so I look at something, um, usually a few designs, and then I just close them completely and start, you know, page blank, okay? That's important. I never have my, you know, uh, references uh, open on a second screen unless... And uh, there's just a bunch of them, like, you know, hundreds of images. And during modeling, I want to get inspired. Or you're modeling something very specific, like, for example, landing gear. And you want to look up some real life, you know, landing gear. So you want to just get some ideas for how, you know, the engineering part is done, right? But in terms of design, you want something unique. So you may look at some, you know, ideas, etc. But basically, the design, you want to have a unique. All right, guys. So let's try to design something, you know, in this style. Okay, so let's grab a cube and let's, you know, let's grab a... A cylinder let's rotate it and this way let's scale this and s y and move it somewhere here this cube is a little bit too wide so we're gonna narrow it down and we're already getting a different feel for it because um, you know this this uh, cylinder is a little bit longer uh, we could uh, drop some kind of a uh, loop in here and create a flooring for this maybe a bit longer and create another loop here and you know extrude it up so e and extrude it up we could apply scale to it and start chamfering stuff you know chamfering stuff here we could mirror or echo this chamfer on the other side like this which is pretty cool and we could do the same thing in the interior okay so we could just you know chamfer it in here like that but before we do that probably the best idea would be to remove you know these edges okay so um, uh, dissolve, whoa, dissolve edges, right, and then we can just, you know, chamfer these two, right, uh, like this, and copy to the other side of this mesh machine, and now from this side, what we're gonna do is, uh, shift D, um, and so lightly expand it, select this one, difference, uh, move this one to cutters, um, and this one's going to be, you know, um, uh, chamfered and uh, inset it a little bit more gy indent it and let's just extrude it inset it a little bit extrude it out and kind of you know curve it here i can apply scale now so the curving is going to be a little bit more natural there you go kind of like a you know uh, i can round it shape on this side um this could be a bit more interesting so what we could do is uh you know cut some paneling in here okay so we could cut some paneling, and that would basically echo um, the uh, the angles. Okay, so teeth, create a panel here, and we could create an interest, more interesting panel in here, a little bit different. So it could go very tight in here, but wider on this one, uh, and maybe create something like this just for fun. This is very mass effectish, you know, uh, these kind of lines and t and boom right we got these two panels 
Uh, if you're gonna add the bevel, it's gonna become a little bit more interesting. Weighted normals, alt V, and color it is here. So now this bit could be a little bit wider on this side. So select this and Q, and here macro, you know, and let's mark this. Well, let's solid view, mark this sharp, select this loop here, and GY, move it a little bit in here, okay? Now this one is a little bit too, uh, too thick, so what we're gonna do is uh, select this, okay, these two, and move them a little bit up, okay? So kind of like here, okay? Cool. Um, this went a little bit too high here, so we can actually either chamfer this or we can bevel this, you know? Um, beveling could be interesting. It's gonna it's gonna soften a little bit these uh, these edges. Uh, this also should be cutting out through here. So shift the scale it a bit, and you know here and difference, right? And uh, select this one and cutters. Shift two, then sharpen, and let's just select. Uh, well, select this edge here. Y, and let me just. Uh, select I'll select with mesh machine and you know chamfer here I'm gonna do the same thing on this side but this side is gonna be more tricky because we have unfortunately we are really close here so we probably can't do that uh, so we're gonna skip that and now we can have some fun you know we can design some vents in here this edge here the entire edge here right could be uh, could be a you know it could be a chamfer so this one here just select everything here right so one more time this edge this one could be a chamfer okay um it's not gonna go further i think because uh, of this edge so let's actually remove this edge right dissolve edge and do it again and there you go so let's go from this side you know that looks pretty cool and this side could be actually uh, beveled so we could just you know um bevel this so let's run three with uh, machine mesh mach machine tools let's grab this edge here and see if we can actually bevel this there you go so it's chamfered here beveled here really cool we could add additional pipes underneath you know so we could just grab a cylinder and rotate it here in orthographic and um, so it's flat scale it down and scale it in y move it lower you know and kind of add some pipes here um, on the bottom um, that gonna be you know going um, b below the big one so um, S, S shift Y and we're gonna just scale it down and you know move it in here somewhere or maybe even here um, move them a little bit up so there's a separation between them you can clearly see two pipes that's important yeah and there you go you know um, simple stuff and let's just copy to the other side and if you want now you can just start designing you know a bit more uh, a bit more elements so for example let's grab a loop in here uh, let's just uh, control B this and what we could do is um, you know inset them all of them right like this and here yeah, macro for example right uh, so you're gonna get this kind of a shape going on sharpen bevel gonna be have to be really small one guys otherwise it's gonna be a disaster weighted normals right and you can just you know start creating some interesting shapes in here uh, this could be some kind of uh you know um kind of like a maintenance hatch in here or whatnot so you could just c uh, cut another you know another um another panel in here maybe chamfer it as well t for a panel you got secondary panel maybe that's a little bit too loud uh, we could run some uh, circular elements in here in the bottom some kind of vents or whatever you know one here and shift t taper it okay here make sure you're in object mode and then just simply click here for a second one and maybe you know one more on this side okay Maybe it's gonna be too much, I think two is enough. So we got this going on, and on this side we could have, you know, I don't know, some kind of uh, cut going this way, all right? So cross, B, boom, sort it, right? And you got this kind of a thing. 
and there you go very simple design um, you know nothing complicated guys uh, but uh, uh, kind of borrowed on the shape that we saw somewhere and sort of came up with you know kind of our own you know idea right so let's just battle this and slash it inside so the form is going to be a bit lighter now the pipes will need to run on the uh, on the right side so somewhere here right so they're going to run through this structure which makes a bit more sense get kind of like a railing which makes this structure look a bit more light uh, and airy uh, here in the back we could have some vent so you could just very quickly add a circle so select this one so hold control and slap a circle in here shift click jz move it up and um control click on mark to create an outside bevel and shift two there we go that's a whoa not this one let's apply this and you know we can just uh create something here in the middle right so you know kind of like a exhaust or whatever or some kind of a turbine or something something that comes out from this side okay so there you go um you know really simple um few minutes design uh kind of like a concept but um you know fun stuff and uh, you, you can do this with literally anything um you can you can do this with literally anything you know just just grab a shape that you like you saw in some kind of a game or whatever and just uh think about the main Kind of like a concept okay the main flow and then just design something on your own but try not to look at the the object that you're actually uh, using uh, for your modeling because this will not really help you with you know becoming becoming better and sort of more uh, more advanced with your you know with your modeling techniques okay uh, because if you want to really spark your imagination you need to learn how to you know how to uh, design something on your own um so how to get inspired because this is you know this is a trick you know how to get inspired you know all right guys well that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it give us a like and sub if you did like i said check check out my gaming channel it's uh, links in the video description the name is hard surface gaming channel hard to miss it mass effect one and two and three coming up soon uh, at the moment i'm playing through mass effect one but two is coming very soon and um Uploads every day, so hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you soon.